Representative Greer Martin met with the press on Monday while receiving a plaque from the League of Conservation Voters and laid the legislature's inability to reach a coal ash agreement squarely at the feet of Republican leaders. The Democrat from Wake County said it's simply too late to turn the tide on fracking this year. But there is still time right now to do something about coal ash. Every indication I see is that this General Assembly, in our rush to get out of town, is going to leave unfixed one of the greatest problems facing our state right now. But there is no debate that there has been a failure to fix the coal ash problem. In the end, it is not a partisan failure, it is a leadership failure. It is a failure by Speaker Tillis, it is a failure by Senator Berger, and it is a failure by Governor McCrory. If we leave town without a fix for the coal ash problem, I sincerely hope that the voters will understand that and hold those responsible at the voting booth in November. What I think is happening is there is a concern that the leadership knows that the fix that might be likely to pass is not going to satisfy the voters, that it adequately protects them, and so they want to implement that legislation after the elections in November when they can no longer be held accountable. Reporting from Raleigh for The Insider and the News and Observer, this is Ben Brown.